Lorencia uh, Handayani says, how to overcome fear of dark? Ever since I was young until now, I'm 25 years old, it's hard for me to fall asleep every night because I'm scared that there might be an evil watching me sleeping. Um, Lorencia, I, I don't know that I have the wisdom for you on this. Um, like when I was a kid, I was afraid of the dark, like a lot of kids. I remember the classic thing. And the, the thing is, as a child, I don't know if my ch child experience would transfer to an adult. Obviously, you're dealing with something different, I think, as an adult. But I remember turning the light off and jumping across the room into my bed, right? Because I felt like something was under my bed going to grab my ankles or something like that. And as I got... I don't know what age this was, but I got to the point where I, I was like, part of my brain was like, this is ridiculous. But my fear center was still just completely triggered when the lights went off. So I just launch into the bed. I remember how I handled this, and I'm not, I'm not saying this is what you should do, but I don't know. Here's what I did. I turned off the light. I walked over to the edge of my bed so that my feet <laughs> slid under my bed as a kid, right? Um, and then I stood there and just held still in the dark in my room because I was scared there was something under the bed that was gonna hurt me, but I didn't think that was true. I thought that this was an irrational fear. So I stood there and I just stood there and I, I did this a number of times and then my fear of the, of the dark then was gone. Um, that, that my own personal experience, but I didn't have it reinforced from the age of like seven to the age of 25. So I don't know what, how that would translate to somebody your age. I would just maybe look into psychological tips on how to overcome irrational fears. Um, uh, there, there's nothing more powerful about the lights being off and evil watching you when you sleep, that sort of thing. Um, if you feel like this and you felt like this your entire life, I would reinforce that that's probably an irrational fear. Um, and not something grounded in reality. Now you might tend connect this to your Christian faith by thinking, yeah, but demons are real, so I could be right, right? Um, that's the nature of irrational fears though, is because it might be true, therefore I'm gonna believe and act like it is true. That's the nature of irrational fears. Um, I'm gonna drive to the store, but you might get in an accident. You're right, I might. Then I'm gonna believe that I will get in an accident, so I'll never leave my house. You know, then someone has agoraphobia and they'll never leave their home. That's an irrational fear based on a super unlikely possibility. From what you're describing, it's a natural human fear of the dark connected to spiritual beliefs about evil spirits that don't seem to be consistent with what I actually see evil spirits doing in scripture, just watching you when the light's off and then they don't watch you when the light's on. Like, what, why would I think spirits don't watch me when the lights are on? Like, it's like, if they're there, they're not. Lights seems like it would have nothing to do with it. <laughs> anyway, I'm so sorry if I'm not helping you out here. Laurencia, um, God help you, give you wisdom, give you peace and know this above all else. Greater is he who's in you than he who's in the world. This is my biblical answer to that fear. Even if, a demonic spirit sought to watch me, I have nothing to fear because greater is he who's in me than he who's in the world. 